dust off the golden hair of Desire moves the time so slow 500 feet below Well it's all coming back to me Like it never has before Figuring out just who we were J4 Hi, my name is Van Wagner. In this video, you're going to be learning a little bit about some of the biology uh, that takes In this video, you're going to be learning a little bit about uh, how we study bats in Pennsylvania. You're going to look at uh, some actual field biologists with the Pennsylvania Game Commission, also with the private sector and uh, kind of look at why we care about bats, also what are some of the issues facing bats right now and, and uh, what studies are being done. In the footage that you're going to see in this, in this video, we actually went into an abandoned iron ore mine uh, and, and it's kind of unique how bats, of course, hibernate underground, many species here in Pennsylvania, and a lot of the original caves that were in the limestone structures, a lot of those caves are now gone because of quarrying and mining of limestone. And what's kind of interesting is how abandoned mines, coal mines, in this case iron ore mines, kind of have filled the void left by the absence of these caves and bats have moved right in. Uh, the other unique thing you're going to see in this video is bats aren't the only thing that have moved into this uh, subterranean ecosystem. That's a man-made subterranean ecosystem. Uh, you're going to see some uh, amphibians, you're going to see some insects, so it's, it's really unique how all these subterranean uh, animals kind of move in to this uh, man-made structure. I think it's important to point out that uh, everybody in this video is a trained expert. Uh, the biologists have hours and hours of training on how to uh, safely work underground. Uh, personally, I've been certified as a Pennsylvania coal miner. I worked underground in Schuylkill County for some time. Um, so I want to make sure you understand that this is not something that you should ever consider doing. If you find an abandoned mine, uh, by all means, report it to the Game Commission so that perhaps they could study it uh, for, for possible bat hibernacula, but don't even consider going in. Don't even go in a few feet. A couple things to consider. Any timbers that used to be in place to hold up the ceiling have long since rotted out, which means there's no roof support. Only a trained expert knows what to look for in terms of whether or not the roof is ready to come down or not. Second thing to consider is there hasn't been ventilation in these mines in, in some cases well over a hundred years. So there could be carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide built up in these mines, both of which you can't smell and you can't taste. What's the name, the common name? The common name is the Eastern Pipistrelle. They just knows to one, one of the yellow legs, right? Yeah. Yellow, yellow legs. It does. A real small leg. Though. Yellow. What's all that noise coming from the, the depth? Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm saying under exposure. Wow. What we're looking at right here is just the start of white fungus on the muzzle. And then up here on the back side of his wing membrane, there's white here too. I'm not sure if you can see it from that angle. Yeah, I got some good shots on his wing. Okay, right there is a white fungus on his wing too. That would kind of explain why we're seeing bats this close to the entrance. I can't even pick up the office. So, Greg, what are we seeing so far? Uh, we're seeing northern long eared bats, <laughs> pipistrels, which are uh, now called periminotus, um, and uh, little browns, which are our most common bats. Uh, Still okay. more little browns than we do long eared, but it's a good long eared site. And um, of course, a few frogs, yeah. There's another one up in the top right, too.
There's a little bit on the side of the wing there, but more of it's on the space. You see that fungus growing there? So ideally, what are you looking for? I mean, uh, like for the bats, they tend to like it around 44 to 49 degrees. Pipistrelle is maybe a little bit warmer. They can take it up into the low 50s. So this is a slightly warmer site by about 3-4 degrees. We'll we find the, the large degree. populations. So the surface temperature of the rock right there is 52.1 degrees. Seven, eight. 